here on an Oakland slow street. This is Dover Street in North Oakland, where the city of Oakland has closed to through traffic. Now 10 miles of Oakland streets, growing to as many as potentially 74 miles. We're really happy with how it's working. People are using the streets, but not overly using them. You're not seeing block parties or anything of the like. There are folks who are using the streets to be safe while they're out for their run to stay healthy. There are people on these streets going to access essential services, shopping, going to essential job activities, and lots of folks are using facial coverings. The Oakland Department of Transportation is using soft closures, construction barricades with road closed to through traffic signs and pedestrian and bicycle warning signs to close streets to through motor vehicle traffic, but still allowing local emergency delivery trash collection traffic, thereby making those streets much more welcoming to people doing essential travel uh, by foot or bike, or who are going out for a run in their neighborhood. We've been really happy with how drivers uh, who are the local traffic accessing uh, their home have reacted to the soft closures. They've driven in a very respectful, uh, calm manner. Folks have generally been very in favor of the program. We're getting lots of requests for additional Oakland slow streets. The police department is not uh, enforcing slow streets. You know, if you drive two blocks on a street rather than one, you're not getting pulled over for being through traffic. We want this to be sort of self-enforcing, if you will. We're proud that other cities are also implementing slow streets. I think every city has to adapt to their particular context. You know, the COVID-19 pandemics at different statuses in different parts of the country and people have different densities and land use and travel patterns. That said, I think what we're showing is that this model can be a way to really help our communities safely travel and stay healthy.